All right, guys, this is vlog number four, uh, and I was really excited to do this vlog because I have a great idea uh, for what the NFL needs to do for uh, the Pro Bowl. So uh, for those of you who don't follow the NFL or uh, don't necessarily care that much about it, uh, bear with me. Uh, but I was really excited to, to pitch this idea, and hopefully it kind of gains traction and gets into the right people's hands. Uh, I have a couple buddies that play in the NFL that might care. Um about this that might be able to get into the right hands, but I don't know. So this is just kind of a flyer. So we'll see. Um, so the past couple of years, uh, for those of you who don't uh, track with the NFL, the NFL has struggled to produce uh, the Pro Bowl is the NFL's all-star game. Um, and so players get voted in based on the season that they're having and they do it at the end of the year. So the, and it's right before the Super Bowl. So uh, a lot of players, the trend has been that they, they don't go. So they still get the honor of being a Pro Bowl player, but then they'll have to find an alternate. Uh, and the reason that they're uh, struggling, I think, is because they, they play an actual game. And by the end of the season, players are beat up. They're hurt, especially the ones who are good enough to go to the Pro Bowl, mainly because they've been playing the whole year. So I have an idea uh, to get people to uh, go to the Pro Bowl, to make the Pro Bowl more exciting, and to make the game visually uh, more appealing. Uh, the people who watch the game, um, generally the players aren't playing very hard. They're just kind of going through the motions. They're all friends. They just hung out the, the week prior in Hawaii. So they um, they play, but it's not it's not a high quality game. So here's the, uh, the pitch and you guys need to comment and let me know uh, where I can improve on this idea. But I really think that this is a start. So in 2006, the NFL, um, they would, 2006 was the last year that they did this, excuse me. Uh, and the NFL at the Pro Bowl, they would do a skills competition. And that would include a whole bunch of different things, uh, things for quarterbacks, things for receivers. Um, they would do like uh, weight room, like bench press, stuff like that for the linemen. And they would do this, these competitions a day or two before the actual game. A lot like the NBA still does. Uh, and 2006 was the last year they did that. During that year, they also had like an old guy Pro Bowl all-star game um, <laughs> where they played flag football. And so my pitch is on the premise of playing flag football. Now, you got to hear me out on this. Uh, not only would it be flag football, this is my idea. So instead of playing a normal NFL game of football with pads and all that, the NFL players would play flag football, but here's where it gets good. And I don't know if you would do like a tournament, but here's how you would start it. You would have each position group. So offensive line versus defensive line, receivers versus corners, running backs versus linebackers. And then the best game of all kickers or special teams players versus quarterbacks. And here's my reasoning for this. So fantasy football is huge right now. And so the NFL is really a player driven league in the sense that you draft players and you want those players to do good. So what more fun would it be than to see those players that you've drafted or those players that you've followed throughout the year play flag football and play a position that they wouldn't normally play? For example, if you have a team of all offensive linemen playing a team of all defensive linemen, someone has to play quarterback, someone has to play receiver, somebody can play running back. And vice versa, on defense, somebody has to play corner, somebody has to guard and cover people. And so you would match those two up so they're the same skill-wise. And I think players would have a lot of fun. The, the appeal to this, or why I think that this would work, is because you get players that you, uh, well, and linemen, you don't really know. So you would know them better based on seeing them and their personalities play a position that they don't normally play, which would be incentive and fun. For them, both offensive line and defensive line, that would be almost the easiest pitch because not only would you be a pro bowler, but people would know you because they actually get to see you play. Nobody watches in a normal game of football, unless you're me, nobody watches the offensive line or defensive line. So this would give them an opportunity to kind of stand out and really own their pro bowl role. Um, and then receivers versus corners, uh, running backs versus linebackers, all of those are the same athletically. So you could put two teams on the field and they would have to, they would get a week to practice. They could put in plays, they could do, you know, whatever they wanted to be eight versus eight. 
or however you wanted to organize that, but it would be flag football. So there wouldn't be uh, the physical demands of a normal game. It would be something different. And these players are super competitive. So they get really, they really just get into it. Um, the, my favorite matchup though, and, and, and initially people might scratch their heads or be confused, but the quarterbacks versus the special teams guys. And this is fantastic because you have the most well-known players versus the least well-known players. I can make an argument that athletically uh, they're similar. Um, I know a lot of the special teams guys, uh, giving you a shout out, Johnny Hecker, uh, can do a lot of uh, athletic things. They just aren't necessarily given the opportunity to do that. And I know that there are a lot of uh, deceptively unathletic quarterbacks who are very good in the NFL but can sling the ball. Uh, I think that one is going to generate the most excitement. Um, and it's generally players that uh, on the special team side that aren't well known and that don't generate a lot of um, excitement. So this would uh, be an opportunity for the lesser known players of the lesser known positions to kind of stand out and to have more fun while giving the people who do play quite a bit and are physical, uh, giving them a less physical option. So you would have all of those games go on. I think that's five quarter, quarterbacks versus receivers, uh, wide receivers versus corners, uh, linebackers versus running backs, and then offensive line versus defensive line. So you had four games. And you could do like a tournament. You could just do those four games and call it quits. And each year there'd be like a rivalry between those positions. Because if you've ever gone to a practice or you've ever seen those players and those positions do one-on-ones in practice. So there's already a naturally uh, a natural rivalry built. The only one that isn't a natural rivalry is the quarterbacks versus the special teams people. But the only thing that's better than a rivalry to get people participating is pride. And on this side with the with the special teamers, they have pride that they're they want to validate themselves as football players. Johnny, people uh punters are people too. And then on this side the quarterbacks, the most well-known, the some, the highest paid most often, um, the the best looking, arguably. Um, I'll give a shout out to the offensive line to uh, kind of balance that out. Um, but uh, they have pride that they're not going to lose to the people that a lot of people argue shouldn't even be on the field in the first place. Uh, so the only thing better than a competitive edge is a pride edge. Uh, and so I think because it is so competitive and because you would be going up against uh, your rival or um, for the quarterbacks and stuff who are most likely to drop out and not play, um, if you decide to not go to the Pro Bowl or not participate, it's kind of a statement that you're not with your boys or you're not uh, that you're conceding defeat. And so I think that not only would it be a better product on TV for people to watch because they get to see kickers throwing the ball, they get to see linemen catching the ball and throwing the ball and running and being out of their position. You'd also see receivers blocking, quarterbacks blocking. Um, it would be a great product visually for the fans of the NFL to watch. But on the other hand, I think that because it's it's less contact um, and you have kind of the natural rivalry built in, I think there'd be a lot more incentive for the actual NFL players to go. So this is my idea. This is my pitch, playing flag football and matching them up against the rival that they have on the field. Um, I think that this could be fantastic. I think the NFL should actually take this up and take this seriously. I'm not just kind of pitching this. Like, I really think that that's what they should do. Um, I have a strong feeling that people would actually watch it, um, that the players would actually get excited about going to it. So it just needs to fall in the right hands. I've never heard anybody talk about this. Somebody maybe have already come up with that this idea or uh, they may have already pitched it, but I've never heard this conversation happen or anyone talk about switching the actual game because I don't think people see enough football during the year. It's not the longest season, believe me, I could take more, but the but the players are tired of playing the game at that point in the season and the fans don't need to see another game. I think the fans want to see something fun and that's the whole premise of the pro bowl. And, and for the players, I think that um, it's speaking on their behalf, having never been to a pro bowl myself, I think that the week leading up when they're golfing and they're doing all the fun touristy things in Hawaii. Um, I think that's why they go. 
and, and that's the incentive to go. And then when it comes up to the game, it's just kind of more of a formality. So I think switching it up and doing something like flag football, something that's more fun, um, while also still having the competitive edge, getting a good visual product on TV, uh, I think it's a win-win-win for the NFL. So help me spread this word around. If you like this idea, comment, let uh, let people know. Um, I'm specifically going to call out Johnny Hecker on Twitter and uh, see if he can. he's been to multi-pro bowls himself. Uh, punchers are people too. He'd be repping that special team side, looking to beat the quarterbacks. Um, I think it's a great idea and hopefully it gets into the right hands. Um, March Madness, is so that's my idea. So if you guys want to comment and let me know uh, maybe ways that I can improve that idea, that's kind of the, the ground level, the base level, um, my opinion on it and what I think about it. So uh, March Madness is right around the corner. And uh, I'm really excited. I think the last two playing games play today and then the tournament starts tomorrow. So make sure you get your brackets in. I'm going to do a little bit of a plug here for the Grove. Uh, we have a pool on Yahoo. I will put the link in the show notes and my vlog notes, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and um, so you guys join that. Check that out. Make a bracket. Uh, I think I have Michigan State winning it all. So that's a little spoiler. Uh, if you like my idea, you can take that. Um, but. Oregon State made their first tournament appearance in uh, a lot of years. I don't know it off the top of my head, but we're really excited about the – oh, that was almost good. The Beavers making it. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Check out the Groves uh, pool on uh, in the notes at, at the end of this video. And uh, happy March Madness. Hopefully your bracket does well.